Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing show you guys how to properly configure your permissions on your guys' QB Core server. Now if you haven't already set up a QB Core server and you guys want to, QB Core is pretty much ESX with gangs, role play, economy, jobs, etc. If you do want to set them, um, check out my tutorial on how to set up a QB Core server first and then come back to this following tutorial. But if you guys have already done that and you guys already have a QB Core server, all you guys are going to want to do is find your TX admin QB core files. So mine's going to be in documents, then under QB core, and then TX data, QB core framework, and then we're going to find our server.cfg. Once you guys have found your server.cfg, all you guys are going to want to do is scroll right down to the bottom, and you should be able to see here there's going to be a, a category for permissions, and then a bunch of subcategories for resources, gods, and inheritance. They only have to actually put kind of one in. We're going to make a new line under here and we're going to do a hashtag and we're going to put people and then we're going to press enter. And now all you guys are going to want to do is I'm going to leave these lines of codes down in the description below. But if you guys see right here, if I paste them in, you guys can paste these in like this as well. It's going to be a template so you guys can copy what you need if you want to do it again. But basically it's pretty self-explanatory. So qbcore.god. That's going to mean that the person who has this permission is pretty much the god of the server. So they have absolutely everything. So I'd usually only assign that to yourself. It's going to be admins. If you have any admins that you guys trust quite a lot, so maybe your best friends who you're running the server with, I definitely put them with this permissions right here. And then for your mods, that's going to be your moderators. They have slightly less permissions. That's pretty much it. It's pretty self explanatory. And obviously, here you can put their player name. And you don't have to actually put their player name. You could just put their name. It doesn't have to correlate with their usernames or anything like that. So just for today's video, we're going to be configuring ourselves as God. Because you guys obviously need to be able to be admins on your QB Core server. So to do this, what you guys are going to want to do is make sure you guys start up your QB Core server like me. You guys can see I have the window open right here. And then all you guys are going to want to do is add yourself as an admin. So where these XXXs are right here. That's going to be where we need to change. If you double click on those, you can just delete them and change them or double click on them and then replace them. So to find our identifier license key, all you guys are going to want to do is either use your Steam or your 5M. Now, for the sake of this video, we are going to use our 5M. So to do this, what you guys are going to want to do is going to want to open up your guys' TX admin console like this. And then if you guys go to your player profiles, right here and you go to players you should be able to see that somebody has joined your server recently whether it be you or your friends and if you go to ids you should be able to see here you can actually find their 5m id so double click that and control c you can close this now we'll go back to our server.cfg and then we can paste it in like so and that's pretty much it it's pretty self-explanatory so if you guys wanted to add your friend as an admin you then go into your tx admin console find their license key or they could give you their license key if they wanted to use steam and then you just paste it into here and obviously if you guys wanted to have more than one god you can do so just copy and paste it again change obviously your license key and if you guys also wanted to actually set up your permissions once you guys have set yourself as god you would have to obviously be an admin first in order to do this if you guys wanted to set up your friend permissions when you're already in game, you can actually, I'll leave these down in the description below, use slash commands. So you could do slash add permissions and then their ID and then add permission, which would be either God or admin or mod. And you guys can also do it in the admin menu as well. So all you guys will need to do is go into your 5M server and do slash admin. And that'll bring up your admin menu, obviously regarding that you have done all of this correctly. But if you guys have already done this, all you guys are going to want to do is we're going to close our server.cfg right here. And we're going to start up our 5M server. I'm going to have to restart mine. But we're going to start up our 5M server right here. If it's already started, then just restart it to make sure that your permissions reload. We're going to start up our 5M. And I'm going to show you guys our admin console through our QB core server. And once you guys are in game and you guys have selected your character, all you guys are going to do is press T to open your chat and slash admin. And you should be able to see here the admin command that we were just talking about is available and it pops up with a little admin menu. Here you can navigate using your arrow keys and enter. And then obviously you can see here that we have our player management. You can set them as admins if you guys wanted to. You can revive, freeze, spectate, a bunch of really good things. You can sit in their vehicle. It's a really, really great menu. And this pretty much means if this pops up for you, that we have done everything right and you are now an admin on your server and feel free to add anyone you want as an admin on your server the same way. Or like I said, using the slash commands in your chat. So I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, 
please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what video you guys want to see next. And make sure you guys turn on that notification bell so you guys are aware when I upload my next tutorial so you guys can follow along with this series. And also check out the channel sponsor, Zap Posting, using code HYROTROOPER, no capitals or spaces, for 20% off your next product with them. Zap Posting do 5M servers all the way to Minecraft servers. So they're really, really good if you guys are looking to start your own 5M server and don't want the home host, which is a bit of a hassle these days. And they're really, really cheap super cheap and usually they offer 50% discounts as well these days so be sure to check them out in the description below and i'll see all of you guys in the next video cheers and goodbye